Hello students, in the previous lecture we have seen how to get the static indeterminacy of beams. We also know that beams are statically determinate internally. Now in today's lecture we are going to see the static indeterminacy of pin jointed structures. Now in case of pin jointed structures, the pin jointed structure is statically determinate internally if it has just minimum number of members required to preserve its geometry. So always in case of pin jointed structures, we will have to work out the minimum number of members which are required to preserve its geometry. So let us see so again here pin jointed structure is classified into two types. Plain pin jointed structure which is also called as 2D structure and space pin jointed structure which is also called as 3D structure. So let us see what is the minimum number of members required to preserve the geometry in plane pin jointed structures and let us also see thereafter what is the minimum number of members required to preserve the geometry of a structure in case of a 3D pin jointed structure. So let us go to the first type that is plane pin jointed structure the minimum number of members. Now again when it is a plane pin jointed structure the most stable arrangement of members is a triangle in this case. So here the three members are connected together, three joints are formed and triangle is uh, called as the basic truss element. So basic truss element in this case is a triangle, three joints and three number of members. Now if I want to extend the truss, if I want to add one more joint, I will have to <coughs> connect uh, the basic element of truss by means of two members. So for every additional joint, we will have to add two members. For every additional joint, two additional members are required which are to be added to the basic truss element. So if in any given truss, J is the number of joints, j is the number of joints the additional number of joints will be equal to j minus 3 because in the basic truss element already three members are required so additional number of joints will become j minus 3 so j minus 3 is the additional number of joints and for every joint two additional members are required as such the additional members uh, will become 2 times j minus 3 2 times j minus 3 is the additional number of members and these have been calculated from the additional number of joints whereas initially already there are three joints and three members are there 2 times j minus 3 is the additional members and originally or initially three members are there so if I add 2j minus 3 and initial three members this becomes the total number of minimum members which are required to preserve the geometry in case of a plane pin jointed structure which is equal to 2j minus 3. So minimum number of members which are required in case of a pin jointed plane structure is 2j minus 3. Now let us see what happens in case of a space that is 3d pin jointed structure. Now here in case of a space pin jointed structure the most elementary stable structure is a tetrahedron. So in tetrahedron there are four joints. So there are four joints like this, one, two, three and four. It is the apex. So this is the base, whereas it is the apex. So four joints are there and six number of members are required to connect these joints. So four joints, six members in the initial elementary structure if the space arrangement of the members is done. So if J is the number of joints, the additional number of joints will be equal to j minus 4 because 4 are the initial number of joints. So j minus 4 is the additional joints. Now in order to connect the additional joint to the initial uh, elementary structure, three members are required and that is why the total additional members becomes three times the additional number of joints. So three times j minus 3. So these are the additional members which are required. So additional members and initial six members if I add them together, I get the minimum number of members. So 6 plus 3 times j minus 4 is equal to 3j minus 6. This is the minimum members required. 
so minimum members in case of a plane pin jointed structure is m uh, sorry 2j minus 3 whereas the minimum number of members in case of a 3d pin jointed structure is 3j minus 6 now if the number of members provided in a pin jointed structure is more than the minimum number of members required then the structure becomes statically indeterminate and degree of statical indeterminacy can be obtained like this dsi that is internal static indeterminacy which depends upon the number of members provided so m the actual number of members provided minus the minimum number of members required to preserve the geometry of the structure so dsi is equal to m minus minimum number of members provided requ required to be provided which is 2j minus 3 over here so it is m minus 2j minus 3 whereas here dsi is equal to m minus 3j minus 6 now if in a certain arrangement if m is less than 2j minus 3 in case of a plane pin jointed structure the structure is unstable internally whereas if m that is the actual number of members provided is equal to the minimum number of members required to preserve the geometry then the structure is stable and it is statically determinate also if m is greater than 2j minus 3 the structure is over steep and it is statically indeterminate whereas in case of space structures the similar conclusions can be drawn if m is less than 3j minus 6 this st structure is unstable internally if m is equal to 3j minus 6 this structure is stable and statically determinate internally if m is greater than 3j minus 6 this structure is uh, over steep and uh, is statically indeterminate the degree of static indeterminacy in case of plane structures is m dsi is equal to m minus 2j minus 3 and here the degree of statical indeterminacy in case of space structures is given as m minus 3j minus 6 so in case of the pin jointed structures in order to know the statical determinacy or indeterminacy we will have to actually work out the minimum number of members required and the minimum number of members can be obtained like this now let us see one example on it so that it will be easier for you to calculate the static indeterminacy of a structure now i am giving you one plane structure suppose there is this truss and these are the number of members now let us consider that all the joints are pin joints and it is asked to get the static statical indeterminacy for this structure now the procedure is like this first calculate m m is the actual number of members which are provided over there so you have to count the actual number of members so i am counting the members now the horizontal members are 1 2 3 4 5 6 the vertical members are <coughs> 1 2 3 4 so 6 plus 4 is 10 and the inclined members are 6 again so total number of members is 16 over here then you will have to calculate the number of joints j number of joints over here are 1 2 3 4 along the top line whereas 4 along the bottom line total number of members uh, sorry joints is 8 and therefore 2j minus 3 is equal to 2 into 8 is 16 16 minus 3 is 13 and therefore dsi is equal to m minus 2j minus 3 m is 16 2j minus 3 is 13 so dsi is 3 whereas dse is equal to r minus 3 because it is a plane structure r is the number of unknown reaction components which is 3 over here because 2 at the hinge support 1 at the roller support so it makes 3 so 3 minus 3 which is 0 so dsi is 3 dse is 0 and that is why ds is equal to dse plus dsi which is equal to 3 so degree of static indeterminacy in this case is 3 so this is how the degree of static indeterminacy in case of a plain pin jointed structure can be obtained now in the next lecture i am going to discuss the degree of static indeterminacy in case of rigid jointed structures thanks